Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome back to my channel. So in this channel, we solve a lot of algorithms and go over leak code questions. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, smash that like button because that helps me create this content for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at today's problem. So first of all, what is a pre-order traversal? We need to understand this. So in a pre-order traversal, what we need to do is we need to look at the current node. So we'll look at the node, we'll process the node, and then we'll process the left child, and then we'll process the right child. So this is what it means to be in a pre-order traversal. So here in the example, we can see that, okay, the node was processed first, right? So this was processed here, as the output is written here. Um, and then the left child, so it went to the node's left. And this is null, so this is there's nothing here, right? So when there's nothing there, we cannot process this node. So we have processed the left side, okay, that's fine. Now we went to the right side. And again, on the right side, we need to do the same thing. We need to look at the node, we need to look at the left side, and then the right side. So when we're here at the... Uh, node 2, first of all, we're going to process the node. So we have processed the node here, 2. And then we are going to look at the left child. So we are here now at 3. And then again at 3, we want to do the same thing. So we want to look at the node, we want to look at the left child, and then the right child. So here, I'm at 3, and I need to process the node. So I will put this value here, 3, and then for 3's left, we have a null, so I have processed that. There's nothing to do. 3's right, we also have a null, so I've processed that. There's nothing to do. Okay. Um, and then we look at 2's right. So 2's right here is a null, 2. So nothing to do. Okay, so we have processed 2's left, processed 2's right, and we've already processed this first node's left and right. So this is how we are getting the answer. Okay, so when we are applying the same logic to every node, um, one of the ways to comprehend um, an intuition for this problem is to think about how to solve this recursively. Because it becomes very easy when we think of applying the same rules at every node and apply a recursive solution for that. So what I'm going to do is I will write some pseudocode here um, and then we will go over another example to make sure we fully understand. So our purpose is to return first the node and then the left and then the right. So these are the three, these are the one, two, three conditions that we need to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I will think of the base case. So when we are at a null node, so let's imagine we're here. When we are at a null node, um, we need to return, right? So we can say that our base case is, and this is just pseudocode, so bear with me here. Let me change my pen. Uh, okay, let's do that. Okay, so I can say that if... So I can say that if root is null, then what I need to do is I will return, okay? So we are not processing anything there, we are done, okay? Um, and then, so this is our base case. This is when we need to stop the recursion. So this refers to a node over here because you cannot process an empty node, so you need to return up to the column. So this is our base case. And then what we need to do first so remember, number one step is to process the node. So we will have a answer um, list here. We can call this result or uh, pre-order result, something like that. And what we want to do is we are going to process the value of the node first. So we are going to push into this result. So we can say res.append. And we will push the root dot value because in our order of number one, this is our number one that we need to do. Root dot value. Okay. And then what we are going to do is in our number two is we are going to do the same 
logic on our left side. So we are going to call this function. Let's call it preorder DFS. So we are going to call this function and we're going to pass in our node left because we want to apply th these three rules on every single node. So we will call this DFS function, okay? And we are going to pass in our root dot left. So this is our step two. And then the step three is to call the DFS on the root dot right. Awesome, so now let's take our pseudocode here, these three steps, and then apply it to this tree and then traverse it, it using the pre-order traversal. So the first thing we need to do is process the node here. So I've written down the steps one, two, three, and then two and three are left, right? So it's easier to understand here. So the first, we're at the first node here at three. Okay, so we're asking, hey, is this root null? No. Uh, so that's fine. It doesn't go into this if statement. So what we're going to do is we're going to append the root dot value to the res. So here I will say three. Okay. So I have done my step one. Now, what is my step two? My step two is go to the left. Okay, so I'm going to go to the left here and I'm at nine. Okay. So now what I need to do as the part of step one, again, is to process the node. So, okay, I'm going to write the nine here as part as this number one step, and that is in the res. Awesome. So next, what I'm going to do is go left. So I will go left and okay, there is a none here. So I'm going to return and I have processed this, there's nothing to do. And then I will try to go to 9's right. Again, 9's right is none, so I have nothing to do. Come back here and finish this third step. So I've returned to 9. Okay, so I have completed all the three steps for this node. So now what I'm going to do is return back to 3, the caller. So remember, this is the left side that was called here from the step 2 of 3. Now we have finished processing everything on the left. So we'll cross this out, okay? We're done processing the left side of three. Now what we're going to do is look at the right side. So I will go here to um, the right side of three and I'm at 20. And again, at 20, what do I need to do? I need to append the root dot val. I'm going to put the node first and then look at the left and right. So as per of step one, I will put down the node here, so 20, and this is done. Um, so next, I need to look at the left. So I'm looking at 20's left here at 15. And again, at 15, I'm going to do the first step, which is to um, append the root.val here. So I will say 15. That's good. And then I will go to the 15's left. So there is nothing here on 15's left, so that is none. So I will cross this. We're done processing this. This is return. And then we are going to try to go to 15th right, and there is nothing here. So that means return. So we're hitting the base cases here. So we'll cross this, and now we have processed this whole node. So I'm going to go back up to 20. So we have processed the left side of 20. We're done. Now what we need to do is process the right side. So the third step here is to do the recursion on the right side. So I will go to the right of 20 here at 7. And what do we need to do first is write 7 as the first step. So res.append, we will append this 7 to our res. And then for step 2, what we need to do is look at the left side. Okay, so there is nothing on the left side. Return, there is nothing on the right side um, as well as part 3. And then we are going to return. So this is our final answer for looking at a pre-order traversal of a binary tree. So the last thing we need to do is return this res. Awesome, so I'm back in the code and what I've done here is I've created my res list and set that to empty. 
Next, what I will do is define my DFS function. So we can call this preorder DFS. And I am going to take in the root here. Okay. And okay, let me use the def here since this is a function. So we'll call this def preorder DFS. And here we are going to take care of the base case first. So if root equals none, then we are going to return. Otherwise, we are going to um, put that roots value in the res. So we will say uh, res dot append and we will put in the root. So this is the pre-order sequence that we're following. So we are going to take care of the um, root dot val first. So this is our uh, current node. And then we will call this pre-order DFS on the roots. We're going to call root dot left. And we are also going to call it on root dot right. We'll say pre-order DFS. I'm going to call it on root dot right. And the last thing we need to do is return the res. So we'll say return and res. Okay, so this should be good. Um, let me give this a run and see there's no issues. Oh, I do need to, yeah, oops, I forgot to call this function. So I need to call it initially with the root. So let me do that here. Okay, let's let's use this node variable here so it's less confusing. So we want to make sure that the node we're on is not null. So we'll uh, initialize with the root. So we'll send the first node as the root. But then we will um, call the nodes that are being processed as node instead of root. So it's less confusing here. So we'll say node. So add the node.left and then node.right. Okay, so this is the root value. And then the order is left and then right. Okay, awesome. This looks good. So I will go ahead and run this. Oh, yeah, okay, I made another mistake. <laughs> but wow, okay, this should be node.val. So what happened here is it was adding the whole node instead of the value. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, awesome, accept it, and then submit. Yay, success!